Pharisees came to Jesus with a trick question. Master, we know that you teach the true way of God and treat people fairly. Is it the right thing to pay taxes to the Roman Emperor Caesar, or is it the wrong thing to do? But Jesus knew they were evil and trying to trick him. Why are you trying to trick me, you play actors? Show me the tax money. They brought him a penny. Whose face is on this coin? asked Jesus. They answered, Caesar's. Then pay to Caesar the things that belong to Caesar and pay to God the things that belong to God, said Jesus. They were amazed. Jesus was so wise. They turned around and went on their way. Lord, Help me to be wise like Jesus. You see, some people were very happy to hear the lessons Jesus had to teach, and they were very good students. But for others, not the case. Some people who didn't like to listen to Jesus were some of the religious leaders known as the Pharisees. Now, you re may remember the Pharisees from last week's lesson. Yeah, these were the same leaders that knew what Jesus was teaching was true, but they didn't want to hear it. So instead, they chose to ignore him. They thought they should be the only teachers to talk about God, and they wanted Jesus to just be quiet. They would sometimes interrupt Jesus when he was teaching a lesson and ask him something else just to try and distract him. How do you think you would feel if you were Jesus and these people kept interrupting you? Well, I know I would probably get angry. I would be annoyed. I would probably even get frustrated, but not Jesus. Remember, Jesus was a very good teacher. So even though the religious leaders would interrupt and sometimes even try to mess up his lessons, he would still keep teaching. He would try to show them how they could make better decisions and live closer to God's purpose in their lives. They didn't always listen, but he always kept teaching. Now, these leaders did not want to believe that Jesus was God's son, and they were always trying to catch Jesus saying something wrong. So one day, they threw out a challenge to Jesus to try and trick him. <laughs> They didn't think he could answer the question without getting in trouble. First, they tried to flatter him with compliments. They told Jesus they knew he was a good and honest man who followed God. But do you think these men believed that Jesus was God's son? No, but they were very sneaky, you see. The men asked Jesus if they had to give their money to Caesar. Now, Caesar was the emperor, which is kind of a fancy word for king during this time. It was required back then that every man and woman pay the Roman emperor a small silver coin called a denarius. And they said to Jesus, is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? So Jesus asked the men, why are you testing me and told them to bring him a coin? When they brought him a coin, he asked them, whose face and name is on this coin? And the men looked at the coin and answered, Caesar's. And Jesus responded, Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and give to God what belongs to God. Now, when the Pharisees heard this, they were amazed. Jesus did not fall for their trick. They could not believe how wise Jesus was. 
In our story, Jesus is teaching us the importance of glorifying God in all we do. We see that God is being shown honor here by obeying the people that he has put in charge over us. Now, you may not have to pay an emperor a coin like in our story today, but there are plenty of other ways we can honor our relationship with God and with others. Because when we honor others, we're also honoring God. Your words and your actions or the things that you do for others can honor others and honor God all in the same time. Now let me ask you this. How can you honor someone this week? I challenge you as my students to find one way that you can honor someone this week. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father God, you know all and you see all. You know what we need before we even ask it. You are our provider and our creator. We are made in your image, God, so let us grow each day to be more like you. Thank you for your word and your son, Jesus, who teaches us even still today through these lessons that he taught so long ago when he was on this earth. Let us be an example to others let us love and honor and glorify you in all we do and help us to love and serve those around us well. We ask all of these things in your name.